Hello there ladies and mantle gen, this is Gabriel Lopez again from Fancy Lads Gaming. Today I bring to you more space engineers and uh, yeah, alright, well let's show you what I've built now. Uh, I've made this ship by the way uh, quite a while ago and it's been under development just because of new ideas and uh, new things being introduced and so on. So without further ado, let's show you the ship. And, uh, rockets right so this way this here is the back of the ship let's just close that there you go uh, this is the back of the ship as you can see here it is all very tight and compact right you'll see why in a moment um, this here is the emergency cockpit right in the back of the ship um, just in case the front of the ship gets compromised so we'll go through this door and then we've got a double door safety here and go through here and then here is sort of like the mid section of the ship and you've got the power generators batteries and uh, gravity gens and all of this other stuff around the area and then we come upstairs we have just this sort of viewing i guess you could say and you can just sort of look around and i guess enjoy the very limited view that you have um so we come down and we go through this main door here and this takes you to this long corridor which once again you'll be able to peek out the window but I've made it so you can't I don't know why I just did it this way and uh, this here is the main control room right uh, this ship I would say is usable by three people two in the very least if not even one person can actually fly the ship nice and comfortably um, this is actually a relatively small ship which you'll see it's just a pretty bulky combat ship um, I would say it's a corvette sort of uh, class ship maybe going into a frigate perhaps um, but as you can see here you got some passenger seats so we can ferry some troops around or ferry some civilians um, we go through this here and you have access to the rocket launchers and things through this end we have um, more cargo containers and so on uh, gravity generators more batteries and for backup power um, yeah and then you have like the, the cockpit the medical room which is well yeah that's the control room really the, the small this ship is actually quite small and there isn't really much to show this is coming to the very front of the ship as you can see it's very well lit being defended by two uh, turrets this is one of three entrances to this ship and uh, the other two are in the far back and uh, they are very well guarded by AA guns and rockets and all of that stuff so we're starting to go out of the ship now open this and boom there you go we're out and this here is the very front of the ship which looks pretty badass right so we'll go around you can see it's already armed to the teeth it's got the the rocket pods pilot controlled rocket pods all around the ship on the back here you can see even more in the back and even more in the back over there so like it is really armed I guess you could say armed to the teeth there you go um, so coming up here you can see this is the top of the ship right uh, I've made the ship all densely packed so all the engines and everything they are all spread out between the ship uh, spread out throughout the ship even but there is so many of them that it, it does look very nice and tightly packed and I kind of like ship designs like this with um, tightly packed engines and just grouped up and everything as you can see it is armed as in I can imagine this ship traveling around and just sort of um, I guess you could say warping in right and um, the it's it's one of those epic scenes from say like Star Trek when the Enterprise just warps in and starts shooting everything with lots of lasers and bullets and missiles and all of that stuff flying everywhere. Uh, that's that's what I imagine the ship doing. 
Um, it's also pretty fast for something as big as this. Um, it is heavily armored in most parts. I, I'd say the ship is kind of like a, a tank, I guess it resembles, because you have heavy armor in certain parts of the ship, and then relatively light armor in certain parts of the ship as well, which, for safety purposes, I refuse to show you guys. Anyway, uh, as you can see here, so th this is sort of the midsection of the ship. Uh, if I come over here and I'll show you guys, let me go this way, and down here. This is like, oh shit, alright, a little too far. Um, there you go, this is the little corridor, and then you follow through, and I've built sort of like the, the skirts that you see in some of the uh, German tanks back in World War II. Uh, I've built one of those skirts sort of thing uh, to sponge damage and so on. They are two layers thick, or three layers in some cases, right? Um, and they're mirrored on both sides, which is great. This here is the other little room that you saw with the upstairs section just up here, right? And in here, this was the, the back. The, once again, the back is also mirrored, and here is the other access panel um, to the ship, and that side is also mirrored. In the very back of the ship, you have this sort of, uh, once again, I guess you could say, uh, skirt. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a protection sort of thing, just there to, like, well, protect the ship from any incoming rearward fire. Um, I just spotted something that needs to be fixed. Give me a second. That. If you guys can hear that really annoying bike in the background, just ignore it, because... Yeah, just people testing out their shitty bikes and whatnot. Uh, Alright, okay, I need to change that color to white. You know, gotta keep the running paint scheme. You, there you go, sorted. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, there you go. Both sides didn't match. I'm a very picky person. Things have to look very symmetrical and very, well, equal on all sides. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's that's the top of the ship. And then we come down, boom, to the bottom of the ship. Now, I would personally say that if you guys ever come across a class of ship similar to this, attack it from underneath, although it does have some serious defenses underneath as well. And, uh, right, okay, sure, let's, let's take her for a spin. See how she goes. Oh, I've called the ship the Nexus. I don't know why it's I named it USS. It, uh, but yeah, it just sounds cool. There you go. In my case, it should really be HMS Nexus, to be honest. Right here we go. So we're rolling, still rolling, still rolling, still rolling. We got some conflict going on here. Oh, those AA guns and Gatling guns are in the way. go here and just remove these and we don't want any trouble if the ship just begins to blow up then that's not a very good ship design is it All right. let's go this way here let's aim as you can see look at that it's armed like seriously armed with rockets everywhere and the spread on this baby is absolute beauty now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire one burst focusing from the left side of the ship and then one burst focusing from the right side of the ship um, what you see there is a two layer thick heavy armor block basically and you can see that there's a little gap in the middle I just couldn't be bothered to do it properly um, right anyway without further ado fire powers away so just fire it just one, one burst um, I'm not sure what happened there. Alright, let's try again. There you go. Just keep firing. We don't want to overload too much because uh, for some reason the rockets of this ship just seem to collide with each other and cause some unnecessary damage, I guess you could say. I'm not sure if they are blowing up on impact as you can see this ship does accelerate very very well 
Right, okay. So that, that was about 20 million bursts. Definitely not what I was aiming for, but oh well. Alright. Here we go. I'm not exactly sure what is happening here, but here we've managed to destroy all of this bit. So the rockets have been connecting, but here the rockets have not connected, which is pretty bizarre. Right? I don't know. Maybe that's something that they have to fix. Uh, that's that shit. Alright. Okay. Da -na 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 -na. Also, if you look at the design of the, the front, it's got some pretty heavy armor in the front. Um, I've designed it so that the front, uh, like, could be used as a battering ram. Right? And I think that could more or less come in handy. I just realized that there are a couple of rockets missing. Give me a second. Go. Here. You see, right when I'm doing a video, right, that's when I start spotting all the mistakes and shit. It, it's really, really annoying. Let's just fix that. There you go. Alright. Go down here. Down, uh, through here. Well, there wasn't really much else to show. One thing I will do though is, <coughs> well, I will take her out for a spin, right? Let's see how fast you can accelerate. So if you look on the bottom right, you can see how fast the ship is actually accelerating. And if you look at the weight of the ship, you would probably think that, well, the ship is accelerating pretty fast for something so heavy, right? And I've already reached the 60 meters per second mark. And we are still accelerating pretty fast. As you can see there, the platform is essentially 20 million miles away. Oh, there's another little ship there. Alright, okay, so we've reached the maximum speed, 104.4 meters per second on such a bulky ship. So I'm pretty proud of that. And the acceleration was very good as well. So now we have to turn... Uh, one thing I do have to improve, as you can see, like, you have all the, oh shit, uh, you have all the, um, the rear wood thrusters, all densely packed, um, I don't think that that is enough, so to speak, um, to stop very, very fast, but it's good enough. Um, as you can see here, this is another thing that I'm probably going to have to improve on this ship, so... Yeah. It's it's the turn radius. Uh, I have about four... Yeah, I have 40 gyroscopes aboard this ship. And... Um, well, 40 isn't really cutting it at the moment. We are honestly moving very, very slow. We are slowly facing the direction that we have to. That we want to, even. Um, alright, um, yeah, once I've successfully turned this ship around, uh, I will show you guys the ramming properties of this ship. Hopefully, I don't fail and just miss the target entirely, which has been the case before, simply because I'm a bad pilot. Alright, we see the target ahead, I. So we need to slow down, rotate, pull a little to the right, and then here we go. All forward thrusters. Should we turn on all the weapons and shit as well? So we go, we'll go here. You all the way down, all the way down. Here you go. On, on by me, so it doesn't shoot at me. Range target missiles as well. Uh, we'll come down here. You missile turrets. Here, here. Target missiles as well. And zone by me. Alright. Here we go. All weapons have been enabled. Da -na. There it is. So that that's what the ship looks like when it's just targeting random stuff. 
looks pretty badass to be honest or so I think anyway um, as you can see in the rear as well I've got some rear facing turrets just to defend uh, the blind side I got some sideward turrets to defend our uh, left and right side and I got underbelly turrets as well to defend the underbelly of the ship um, especially because I would say personally um, Oh, here we go, we're engaging an enemy ship that just popped up on the right side there. Look at the combat capability here. Absolutely beautiful. Although, I think that my missiles are probably, like, hitting my own ship, which is really annoying. Oh well, YOLO. I didn't just say that, I may or may not edit that out. Alright, okay, so we've reached full speed. Holy shit, look at all of that fire everywhere gunshots bullets everywhere here we go we're coming into contact i think that's gonna be perfect perfect hit boom we hit it but no cigar it hasn't all right okay it hasn't dented it This is peculiar. Okay. Well then. Never mind. I do believe that was a little bit of a failure. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go this way. Right. Go here. My ship has already yeah, it's my ship has damaged itself, but the thing hasn't even moved. We're gonna go quite far away. Just accelerate far as this little baby can take us within yeah there's the nexus all right i think this is uh, far enough we'll go here we'll create another large ship all right and then what we'll do is we'll just create a huge fucking wall there you go -na 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 -na. there you go yeah that's fine Alright, I'll just have it two blocks thick, and I'm going to see if I can fly into it, just to show you the, well, the, the durability that the front of the ship has. Um, yeah. Well, as we gathered, that didn't really scratch anything over there. Uh, the front of the ship is dented here, but as you can see, like, nothing major has come of it let's let's check this side here nope nothing major all right okay just out of curiosity anything underbelly wise uh we got a couple of dents in the back over there but nothing serious once again so the ship would easily be able to just fly away from that and would still have this sort of long corridor to ram into something else um, right, here we go. Let's reorient. Yeah, reorientate ourselves. I don't even know if that's a word, but oh well. Right. Forward thrusters. Let's go. Accelerate. Full power. Charge. Don't know. No, can't even see anything. I'm probably gonna have to change the the type of. Um, yeah. Simply because you can't really see it. I should probably change it to the normal one. Here we go. Alright, we're in range of missiles now. I'm not going to fire anything. Actually, you know what? YOLO. There you go. There's some impact. I don't think anything serious happened there. We're charging on it again. Boom! Broke straight through. Pretty much. Right? Now let's see. Let's just go inertial dampeners and back off. Or oh, on even. Oh god. Jetpack is off. So you stop moving. Right. As you can see, the front worked perfectly well. That um, part, I guess. Hold on. We'll, we'll check the damage. Shit, I lost it. Alright, 
Oh, there it is. All right, okay. Let's see if we can catch up to it. Go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. Chasing it at uh, 111.5 meters per second. Hopefully they'll be increasing the uh, the limit at which you can actually travel. Simply because I don't think um, that is fast enough. Like, it could be faster. And we're slowly catching up. Slowly, as you can see, like you can literally see a hole straight through it. So, know that we've definitely punctured straight through that ship. Right? And uh, if, say, say... In a combat scenario, the enemy ship, I ram into the enemy ship and uh, the the entire front of my ship will be gone. I'll probably uh, run to the back of my ship in the back cockpit and I would be firing all the rockets that have been planted into the back of my ship. So I would still be able to carve some serious uh, holes into the enemy ship. As you can see here, there it is. Boom, right there. Absolute destruction that's gone penetrated straight through right <sighs> now the dreaded flight back we'll go this way da -na -na -na. Da -na -na -na. da -na -na -na. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. USS Nexus. Sounds pretty cool. In uh, games that involves ships and so on, I've always named, I've always got at least one ship called the Nexus. I don't know why. I just like the name, I guess. So we're slowly catching up. Slowly getting there. can already see the nexus you can just see the red beauty that it is red black and white so we go this way start ducking a little all right we're only about one point f yeah 1.5 koa almost there almost there and voila here she is Right, now that looks pretty serious, however, the enemy ship would have been totally screwed. I still have a ramming uh, thing on the left side here, and, well, since the main control room has essentially been compromised, what would have been the standard procedure is essentially close this off, run all the way to the back of ooh, crap, the ship there you go right here mount voila we still have the entire ship to fly around we still have its forward thrusters we still have all of that power look at all those rockets that we still have access to all of those machine guns and rocket pods and everything on the top and in the bottom so overall i would say this ship to me, anyway, I was pretty proud of designing this. Pretty proud of it. And go through here. Nothing too serious, I guess. You close that. There you go. <laughs> right. Anyway, thank you for watching. And, uh, well, like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff i guess and uh i will probably post another video in a week's time <laughs>